Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you my Disney Diamond Collection, so stay tuned. So back in 2009, Disney decided to release more Blu-rays under a different title. Um, they had just finished up the Platinum Collection, which was mostly consistent of DVDs, other than I think Pinocchio and Sleeping Beauty got a Blu-ray release. Um, they decided to continue on with their releases, um, you know, releasing the titles from the vault and started the Diamond Edition. So I'm going to show you these in alphabetical order and then I'm also going to show you at the same time the special packaging that they did on some of these. So first up we got 101 Dalmatians. Really like the slip on this one as far as the um, metallic look about it. We got Aladdin. As you can tell, I really like this one also with the shine. And with Aladdin, um, Target did a book edition, um, which I'm. This is the storybook edition, which is really nice. We also got a Best Buy exclusive lenticular slipcover for Aladdin. We got Bambi. And then with Bambi, Best Buy was, I think it was Best Buy, they were doing the lunch boxes. So um, with the purchase of Bambi, you could, if they had the lunch boxes, you could get a lunch box. So of course I got that. <clears throat> we got Beauty and the Beast. And with the Diamond Edition was also the release of some Blu-ray 3D editions. Really like the slipcover on this one. So we got, I got the Blu-ray. 3D, and I got the regular, um, just the regular Blu-ray, and Target did a um, collectible iron pack, which is pretty much just a still book without the movies inside. So what you would do is you would pre-order the release, and you could pay five dollars down. You would get the iron pack. And then when the movie came in, you would just go in and pay the difference and purchase the release. So I did that whenever they had any of these kind of pre-order type deals. They did that again with Cinderella. So I got Cinderella, the um, Blu-ray DVD digital copy edition with this gold looking slip cover. And then I got just the regular edition. And I got the Target Storybook Edition. And also I did the pre-order from Best Buy and got the Iron Pack Edition, which they started calling a collectible case. And that kind of gives you how the pre-order worked. Now, one of the things about the pre-ordering is that you would pre-order, pay the $5, and then when it came time for the movie, instead of them knowing who pre-ordered, you would just go grab the movie off the shelf, and then you would take your receipt that you had to hold on to, and then you would pay the difference. Well, a lot of people couldn't keep up with their receipt. A lot of people would go in, and they wouldn't even have any of the Blu-rays available. So it was just a big mess. So I'm glad that they got away from doing that, but I would have liked to have seen more of these types of releases. Okay, next up we have the Jungle Book. Then we got Lady and the Tramp. Now, I have all of these except for the, the release where it had the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for Lady and the Tramp which had a very similar slip cover. I think it just had maybe gold around the edge or something. I can't remember exactly what it is. So I'm still trying to get a good price on that on eBay. And then we got the Lion King, which we have the Diamond Edition with the Blu-ray 3D, the DVD and the digital with this lenticular slip cover. And Target, instead of doing the storybook edition, they did this special packaging with the um, red all around the edges 
and then it had um, it had some songs included but really nice looking packaging and then Best Buy did the collectible still book and they also did a big set a big box I'll put a picture up that included like a drum that had all of the titles inside the drum um, they were in like little sleeves I did buy that ended up selling it because I wasn't really happy with the packaging of it but I really wish I would have held on to that okay so next up we have the little mermaid so we got the 3d edition we got the regular release different kind of slip we got the storybook edition and we got the Best Buy lunchbox and they did a still book over in the UK from Zavi so I purchased that edition since we didn't get a still book here in the US okay next up we have Peter Pan so we have the nice diamond edition with the um, digital copy included and we got just the regular release different artwork we got a storybook edition and they also released a set I think from Walmart that had a little bitty Peter Pan Funko Pop back when the Funko Pops were really popular at the very beginning and I did purchase that I had my little Peter Pan Funko Pop but I did end up getting rid of all of my Funko Pops so I ended up selling that which I wish I would have held on to it um, but that's what Walmart ended up getting in the game and that's what they released okay next up we have Sleeping Beauty we have the Best Buy exclusive with the lenticular slipcover and then we got Snow White so Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs with this really beautiful looking packaging this was the first release for the Diamond Edition um, so Snow White was the first one that they released we got a Royal Wedding Edition so the Royal Wedding Edition was done at some retail um, some of the retailers back during the Royal Wedding for I don't remember who it was that the Royal Wedding was for um, so anyways they did the Royal Wedding Edition so they had this one and they had Beauty and the Beast which I never was able to get that one they had Enchanted and they had one other one I can't remember what it is I do have another one of these I just can't remember which movie it is for so I couldn't find it on the shelf but I do know that Beauty and the Beast got one. Oh, it was the Princess and the Frog so we have Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs the Princess and the Frog Enchanted and the Princess and the Frog so that was the Royal Wedding Edition and then we also got the collectible still book for free as it says so so like I said this was the first release so when when they first started putting these out Best Buy would do the collectible still books Target would be doing the story books but anyway it was a really fun line to collect um, one other thing to note about this particular line is that when they released the blu-rays they also released the same thing but in DVD packaging so it would come with the DVDs uh, the DVD size with the blu-ray and the DVD and um, so people would people that collected the DVDs at that time which people still do would buy the DVD packaging so if you ever go on eBay to purchase any of these make sure if you're wanting to get the blu-ray edition that it, you're buying the blu-ray it'll have the blue logo um, or or if you want the DVDs you could probably find a really good deal on that but that is the diamond edition 
Um, let me know in the comments below if you collected any of these. As you can tell, there was no Pinocchio. And the reason why the Pinocchio wasn't released is because they had just finished up releasing Pinocchio and Sleeping Beauty from the Platinum Edition. So the Platinum Edition line, which I'll do a video on, was mostly all um, DVD, well, all done on DVD. And then at the end of the line, they started, um, Blu-ray was really picking up. People were purchasing Blu-rays. So they did Pinocchio and they did Sleeping Beauty. But with the Diamond Edition, they did not put Pinocchio out on the Diamond Edition because they had just recently released it on Platinum. But they did the same thing with Sleeping Beauty and ended up putting Sleeping Beauty on the line because Sleeping Beauty was one of the last ones that was released in the Diamond Edition. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this particular video. Um, I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.